while ago, I posted on Instagram that I do not like the fumes of ABS. The original design of the Vorin 2.4 3D printer recommends using filter, which will not work for me. I do not need the fumes to be filtered. I want the fumes expelled out of the room. Therefore, I took time to design my own exhaust system. After more than six months of design back and forth, tests after tests, I arrived at this final design, which is all magnetic. This system takes the fumes right out of my tiny window, which I needed to measure and modify. Stay till the end to see the quick assembly. First, I will get the window ready. Since I cannot drill a hole in the glass, I shall make a magnetic panel out of acrylic. This frame is taped down permanently to the window. Many 8x3 magnets were strategically placed all over the frame to accept the acrylic panel later. This panel will also have magnets that will meet those magnets in the frame. My friend kindly cut this panel on the CNC for me, with mounting holes for my specific design. After many iterations, these plates are going to work perfectly, and they are also magnetic. The back plate has a mesh pattern, hopefully, to prevent pests from coming through. And after this last step, it is ready to magnetically snap the window shut. Okay, let's now work on the printer's exhaust system. These two reliable and hardworking fellas are now printing a better life for themselves, and also for me. They must be wondering, why did I take so long to finish this project? A twin exhaust outlet is required here. This part will guide the fumes out without the need to design any valve system to prevent the backflow of fumes. And everything will simply snap on magnetically, without the need to screw or unscrew. This will make my occasional maintenance routines much much easier. Once I can confirm that I got the magnet's polarity correct, super glue is applied through, on the other side of the magnet. The hose goes onto the funnel simply with a tight fit. There is no need for any ring clamps. Later on, the heat from the fumes will eventually make the hose stick together permanently. Another way of applying magnets, and at the same time, getting the polarity right, is this way. Apply the magnets on first, and push all of it in, all in one step. With a bit of hammering, all magnets will be flush to the surface. And superglue will keep everything in place. I just hope you will not ask me how many magnets did I use. For the main body, I opted to use M3 hex nuts internally to accept the fastening screws. And, that has been an hour of back pulling hex nuts. I'll just show you one back pull because there is too many. I designed it in such a way, that the body can hold two filament into the printer at the same time. 
This is to facilitate quick filament change, which has already proven extremely useful when I need to print many different parts quickly. And now, to test fit the caps, which I printed it in two different colors. The exhaust fan will be sandwiched by these parts, drawing air out of the printer and into the connecting hose. All these parts are printed in ABS. I did try printing it in PLA once, and the heat deformed all the parts. This bottom part is to hold the cable neatly into the structure, to prevent accidental damages to the fan wires. Because, I have pulled out so many fan wires by accident. This is my way of solving the problem, and also giving it some aesthetic value. Let me know in the comments if you have a better idea. The entire body will be connected to the printer via this piece, as well as two more screws from within the printer. And for this tiny piece, is to hold the cables for the camera inside the chamber. There are two slots, which I am reserving one for LED wires too. Now let's fix it up to the printer. The entire main body is hollow. It does not contain a piece of filter at all. The fan acts as the pulling force, pulling air out of the enclosure. Six screws hold the cap in place, which completes the main body assembly. And now, it's time for us to test out the connection. If you have been impressed by this so far, and if you want the files that I designed, please let me know in the comments section. If there is a huge number of requests, I will make the design available for all and it's time you smash the subscribe button. I have finally fully completed this project. In future, I will most probably make a four-way connector to exhaust other printers that I intend to build enclosure for. Actually, this is clearly a continuation of my 3D printer rack build series, but I did not do any aluminum here, therefore I shall keep it separate from the series. Please head on to Instagram and follow the Aluminum Carpenter for more regular weekly content.